So, non-league day was today. Why do you think it's so important to the club to have these non-league days? Uh, I think it's a really good opportunity to get as many people down to the club as possible. Um, I think it was a real good opportunity for us to showcase what we're doing differently at the club. Um, so we've combined, um, we've combined what we've been looking to do a few weeks ago. We just waited and we've done it on National Non-League Day um, to combine uh, getting people through the gate. And it, I mean, it worked. We've had our, our record attendance, nearly 500 people here today. Um, and, you know, people are going around with buckets and, and raising raising awareness, uh, and if not just awareness, raising money for um, prostate cancer. So do you think it was important to um, support uh, prostate cancer on non-league day? Yeah, definitely. I mean, why wouldn't we? It's a, it's a perfect opportunity. I think, you know, prostate cancer research is, is uh, kind of the, the reason why we do these national non-league days. But whatever the reason is, it's, 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 it's about getting people to non-league. Um, I actually spoke to a few of the fans today and they said they don't want to go to football league games. They want to go to national non-league games. Uh, Sorry, yeah, non-league games. Um, they just think it's a different type of game, different atmosphere, different feeling. You feel more part of it. Um, so the guys from Gosport, I mean, if you come down and watch your local club, um, you know, fortunate enough to get the win today, which is great. So they've seen us. A lot of people have seen us, seen what we're about, seen that we're really hard working on the pitch, off the pitch. We're trying to do the right things. Um, I think we've made quite a few big steps this season um, already. So. So do you think, after the success of non-league, do you think there'll be an overall up in attendances for the rest of the season? Uh, I think combined with the results and where we sit in the table, there's going to be an increase, I hope. I hope a lot of people came today, realised what a good club we are, uh, realised that we really are trying our best to do the right things for the club and for the community. Um, and I really do hope that they come to more games, whether it's for National Non-League Day, you know, w whether it's because of that and they see we're doing the right things or whether it's because we won uh, and we're doing well. Whatever it is, I mean, we, we need the support. We really do need the support. And it went such a long way today. Honestly, I spoke to a few of the players. And they said, how many were here? And I was like, yeah, near, near and on 500. They said, it makes a difference. It really does make a difference. Is there any other real challenges of being in sort of the middle of two other big clubs in terms of Southampton and Portsmouth when you're trying to attract people to the club? Uh, there's always challenges in football and there's challenges in non-league. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is perception, um, trying to shift perception of, of what a football club's about. Um, haven't, you know, people have got a very, very good perception of Haven't and so they should. They're a really, really professional club. They're very, very good. Portsmouth are where they are in the league, um, in the football league, so they will have a good following anyway. Um, Gosport, I think we've got a long way to go, but we're making, you know, I think we've made big steps this year, but it's baby steps considering kind of what we really want to do.